and this day I've been waiting for a long, long time. These mushrooms have been picked out and planned for us for a while now, and we just had to make sure that they were absolutely healthy and ready to go before we brought them so we can make them available to you. So this box here has $10,000 of mushrooms in it, and I am super psyched to show you each one. Um, the average price is probably about $400 to $1,000. So this is a rare box of mushrooms, and it's not every day that we get to open a box like this. Actually, this is probably the first time I've ever opened a box like this. So I'm pretty excited, and what we're gonna do is take you through our process and show you each one, and then we're gonna make these available for you guys later on today. So those of you who know me, you can always message me directly. You can go to Facebook, you can go to Instagram. You can uh, message me and comment on the video on YouTube, and we'll make sure we find a way to get to you guys and you can get these uh, mushrooms. So it's kind of first come, first serve, so let's get right into it. I, I, I still, a, oops, sorry, Dan. No, I, say, I may want to keep a couple of these in for myself. They're pretty incredible. Yeah, and guys, these will be on sale for a very good deal. Some of them we may be auctioning off, right, Dan? Yes, actually, what we're gonna do is once we pick through and we select the different grades, like I said, each mushroom, even the cheapest one's $400 um, retail. So what we're gonna do probably is do some quick right off the bat sales um, so you guys get a chance to get to score some big savings so what we'll do is pick some of the smaller mushrooms that won't cost a thousand bucks and we'll give you guys a chance to get one of those so but instead of 400 i think i'm going to start it at like, probably like 200 um, but we'll wait and see how that goes <laughs> i don't want to make any promises because the pictures were incredible and So I'm just taking my time, guys. I'm opening this thing. Like I said, this is Christmas. This is something that doesn't happen every day. And I am super psyched, just like you guys are, to see what's in this box. So even though I was privileged to see what it is, a uh, picture does not do a coral justice. Um, those of you who have bought corals online and then you get them home, you realize that when that coral is home, it looks so much better in your tank than it did in the picture, um, as long as you had a good vendor. Some people will boost the color up on their pictures, but we don't do that. This packing tape is no match to my hobby knife. And Gabriel, I have one of your razor blades at home, and I keep taking them home, and I'm all out of razor blades now. So <laughs> I'll have to get some more of those exacto knives. So right before I get into this, I'm going to read some news. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know where that's from. <laughs> that's Chinese. Dude, Trust that's, me, guys. I know that's Chinese. That's awesome. I don't even want to say, but that's current events right there, guys. You can tell exactly what's going on. Um, incredible. And this feels heavier. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Interesting black <laughs> bag, huh? So, there's not only mushrooms in here. I actually forgot to tell you guys. I did order uh, 20 extra Zoas. So we're gonna be doing some really special on Zoa packs on these that are in here. So they're really fluffy frags. I can already see from the first one and there's a lot of polyps on there. So they aren't little itty bitty frags. You're getting at least 20 polyps on there. So I'm gonna open that in a second. I'm just gonna hold off on the, any of the Zoas until I get to the mushrooms. Now, since we found a Zoa, I'm gonna give this as a perfect example time to show you guys something we made last night. Uh, me and Ed were just cracking up. We were making some frag molars, and we just decided to make something. So Ed came up with the clam dog, and this is exactly what it is. It is a clam and a hot dog, and you can put your frag plugs in the hot dog, and you can hold them, pick them up, move them around, put them in the sand, whatever you want to do. Um, and then underneath, you can also use the clam body for extra frag plugs. So I think it's pretty awesome. If you got an expensive coral and you don't want it blowing around or a fish knocking it off, these are recessed so that the frag plugs actually sit below the, the mold. So anyway, we just made them for fun. So that's it, Clam Dog, check it out. We'll have some available for you guys in the future. So if you buy an expensive frag from us, I'm gonna throw one of those in for you just for fun. So we'll also make them on the website. Clam Dog, frag holders. Um, and there you go, some more Zoas. Definitely, definitely Zoas. Now, I, I would have personally put the Zoas on the bottom, considering the mushrooms are so expensive. I probably would have packed them first. Ooh. Uh -oh. That's pretty awesome. I don't know, Ed, can you see that? Whoa. Decent size, too. That's pretty big. 
Wow, so, that's cool. Wait, let me let me zone in on the camera a little. Uh, there's a lot of water in his bag, so yeah, what I'm gonna guys, do is cut check that open. out. You guys can see a glimpse of that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's gonna look beautiful. That's insane. I'm tempted to run over to the lights right now just to get a look at it. Now, there's several different kinds, and actually this eclectus looks like it has bubbles on the head. It does? Oh my gosh. This looks like a bounce eclectus. Yeah, that's not going. So, what I'm gonna do, since there's a lot of water in here before I dip it, I'm just gonna cut this open and let some of that water, you know, leak out of the bag. They were under a little bit of pressure. So there you go. Yeah, that thing's huge. That's a decent sized mushroom. Ooh. Yeah, that is decent size. Okay. So before we put them into our dip, I'm just gonna open them all and let them out. I wanna check the salini too as well and just see what he had his salini at. So, and a lot of people keep their tanks separate. Oh. Wow, Ed. <laughs> Whoa! That's a jawbreaker, lots of red on there. And I swear there's some purple from what I see on this side. Pretty incredible. I can see purple, yeah. Thanks. All right, so we'll open this one up too. Like I said, I'm just cutting the edge of the bag to let some of the water out because these things are packed completely tight. There we go. Number two, first two mushrooms open, and look at that, already, already astounding. And this over here. So, let's venture in, what else, Ed? Another um, bunch of zoas. Very cool. cool, cool. Can't wait to see them open, let's throw them up first. Always nice, yeah. Ooh, that's a little baby mushroom. But it's red. Ooh. That's the special one. I always like the reverse. I like the red with the yellow. Yeah. Um, the green. So that one will do the same thing. Open that up. Is it attached to a plug at all? Or? No, just a little bit of a rock. We're gonna have oh, to okay. we're gonna have to glue these down later on. Um, and the cool thing is so they don't float around, we can use our clam dogs because you put a mushroom in there, we're actually, we're gonna make some special frag plugs that have a little cone, so you can drop the mushroom in there. So, it'll keep the current from blowing it out. So, think smarter, or I should say work, work smarter, not harder. I like how he just grabs the jawbreaker and doesn't say anything about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no! Yes, I'm, I'm draining the water a little bit so you can see it better. But yeah, there's a jawbreaker here. Ed. You wanna check it out before I cut it open? This one is red and yellow almost, it looks like. You see it? Wow, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, so far, if they're open this big in the bag, then I know they're gonna be pretty big once we get them out the bag, so that's kinda cool. It's almost tempting to take them over to the light right now just for a sneak peek. This may take me about 20 minutes to open all these, so I'm gonna take a quick trip over there just check it out. See what color this is. Wow, oh my God. I am not disappointed at all. The bounce, the collectus is definitely um, going in my collection. Wow. And that jawbreaker sort of is insane. Yeah, we'll definitely have to give you guys a second to check these out. So. Yeah, we'll come back. Beautiful. So we only opened up four. I think we have 15 of those Dollbreaker Eclectus combos. So we'll keep opening these. Remember, we're gonna dip them and then we're gonna glue them on. So we wanna make sure this is all safe. Oh my, Ed, Whoa. candy crush. That big? That's a giant candy crush. Gee. All right, wow. so we're gonna snip a little water out of here. Put that down. Okay, and I didn't check the salinity yet, so now that the water's deep enough, I can check out his salinity, see what his is versus ours. Um, I love this Hannah Salinity Checker, absolutely incredible, works every time. Yep, just as I figured, super low salinity. Um, 
That's really low. Let's see what this is. All right, so his is at 26. Normally we keep our tanks at around 33 to 35. Um, so we're gonna have to acclimate this a little bit slower. I'm gonna do a drip in here. Uh, maybe I'll put some iodide in with his and then um, I'll frag, I'll glue them that way. But, wow, that candy crush is huge. Yeah. So, more Zoas, more Zoas. Can okay, let's throw them up front. Nice, Zoas never disappointed anybody. Oh my gosh, yeah. dude. Whoa. The color is bursting through the bag, man. That's like orange and yellow and red. He just went for a ride in the bucket. Yeah, I can definitely see these opening up. Dude, that candy crush is huge. I know. Go for it, take a look in the bucket. Wow, you guys can already sort of see the color. We will get some pictures up, so don't worry, you guys. And like, a, like Dan said, these will be up on auction, on eBay, some of them at least. Other ones will be going for very, very cheap. Well, for what they are, obviously. So yeah, definitely check it out, guys. Right, Dan? Yep, yeah, I can't wait to take pictures of these things. We'll let them open up for a little bit. Wow, man, Zoa rocks. Zoa's everywhere. Is that a mushroom? Oh, that's a mushroom. That's a mushroom, yep. Uh, we have so much water, I'm gonna pour some out of the sink. You know, custom made epoxy sink, one and only in the world. Yeah. We showed you the video sink in the last one um, so if you didn't get to see it check out our video when we're fragging the two thousand dollar eclectus which was our last video and I was pretty proud of that mushroom that thing was enormous so I'm hoping one of these opens up that big all right what do we got next Ooh, another mushroom Ooh, that's that it's splash like, it's got the green going through it it's like it's a can another candy crush right there yep yeah, I always like the candy crush. Each one does something different. They're always unique. That's pretty big. So, the bag still feels heavy. What the heck do we have in here? More Zoas. Upside down. Throw them in there. More of those. Oh, what's this one? Oh, that's a big guy. Whoa. He's a big one. Dang. All right, I'm gonna cut this guy over. I can't wait to get these on the disc yet. Yeah. So we need to lay out some frag clothes. Get busy. <laughs> All right. Yeah, look at the size of that. Wow. Huge. Wow. All right. We're getting down to the bottom. There's uh, more Zoas. Lots of Zoas. Ooh, Ooh, that's a big one. Can't wait to open that up. I think we got like two left in there, so. Let's hope they're mushrooms and not Zoas. Yeah, that's a big one. Whew. Gonna make one pretty picture. I sprayed myself in the mouth with <laughs> Okay, some of these bags did leak in here, but that's okay. That's alright. Nice little candy crush, right? Or is that yeah, Deadpool? Yeah, it's got a lot of red, man. Is that Deadpool or is that Candy Crush? No, that's way too bright. That's way too bright. Yeah, I don't know. Looks like Candy Crush. Looks like all the green spots. Oh, wow. One last reach in the bag. Ooh, there's something else in there. Ooh. <laughs> that's awesome. I wasn't expecting that one. Wow. All right, so I think that's it. I'll just take this over to the sink. Wow. Dude, that one's enormous. Okay. Wow, check out, it's just a field of orange. 
field of orange, yellow, some green. And I guess I'll just put the zoas in here. Uh, um, I don't know if the slinnies on the zoas are actually probably check a couple of them. Too, yeah. Let me check. We got lots of water in these zoa bags. The exciting thing, guys, we don't know what the heck these are yet. Zo like morph wise or, or like type wise for the Zoa. So they could be anything. They could be Utter Chaos. They could be Grandmaster Krakatoas. I hope they are Grand Grandmasters, right, Dan? Yeah. <laughs> but so. yeah, we literally don't know, guys. So yeah, it'll be exciting to find out. So you always want to secure your frags, especially when you add something new to your tank. Wow, so you got 20 Zoa frags, Dan? Yeah. Awesome, yeah guys, those will probably be on sale for real cheap, like, probably only like, what, what do you think, 20, 30 a frag, Dan? Oh yeah, we're gonna give a crazy deal on Yeah, we're gonna do packs and stuff like that. Yeah, we want everybody to go home with some nice corals during this quarantine time, so you have something good to look at. Yep, and hopefully guys, on payday, maybe I'll take home one of those mushrooms. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're definitely gonna save a couple of these to grow out yep. for next time. That special bounce eclectus is gonna be mine. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely keep that, that one. It's the only one I've ever seen. Yep. Right there. Sure. I should just dump them all in here first and pick them out, make it easier. So we're going to inspect all the corals, dip them, make sure everything looks good before we um, put them in our tank. And you can check out the selenium if you want to grab that meter. Yeah, sure. So, all right, loading up. Stabilizing the camera a little. Yep, so you're freezing. Water in this one here. It's deep enough. Okay. Yep. Okay. This looks like 27.2. Yeah, it's pretty low. I mean, not dangerous for them, but it's a little lower than most coral people would want their tanks. All right, so that's everything that was in the box. We are gonna dip it, acclimate it, and you wanna check in here before we um, oh, yeah, definitely. move it around. Look at those mushrooms. Wow, yeah, you guys can already see the orange. Look at all those zoa polyps. Yep, guys, one more important thing for sanitary reasons is clean up. Always important during yes. the coronavirus. Right, Dan? Yes, yep. So we're gonna dip everything. We got our iodine out already. I'm gonna get some frag plugs out and try to glue these in. Um, but before I do that, I'm just gonna run over there real quick and pull him under the light because he looks so crazy. Mm -hmm. So, I gotta do some oohs and ahs real quick. Uh oh, no, the lights! Ah! Oh, oh no! Turn back to the normal schedule. Hello, oh, gun. That's a tease. The lights aren't on blue. Aw, oh, man. So. Alright, guys, I guess. We'll be back in a second. We'll be back in a second. <laughs> <laughs> 